Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very fall inspired plum smoky eye. I used the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette to come up with this look and that is all I have to say. My intros are really bad. I really have to work on my intros. But anyways, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So since I've done my base a bunch of times and you guys pretty much know what I do, I'll just quickly tell you guys what I'm going to use and then I'll come back with my base on. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Primerizer and the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Okay, so I applied Urban Decay's Enigma Primer Potion to the lids. My lids are so dry right now, it's like cracking up. It looks so bad, but I hope that that doesn't interfere with the shadow application. Um, and today we're going to be working off the Naked Heat Palette. So excited! So I'm going to take a little bit of translucent powder. This one is the RCMA one. And I am just going to set from the brow bone down to the crease. Also, since we are working with darker colors today, that's why I have the crap ton of powder under my eyes just to catch any fallout. So I'm going to go in with this third color. And I'm going to use this as my transition color. I'm going to do this a little differently in that I'm going to try to keep my eyes mostly open while I'm doing the crease work. This is because I do have slightly hooded eyes and if I close my eyes and get right in my crease, when I open my eyes, you can't see any of that work. So now I try to kind of keep my eyes open like this and go above my crease. So I'm taking it all the way in, in the middle, all the way out. I'm going to take the next one over now called, there goes the brush, called Low Blow on another crease brush. This brush is just a little bit more tapered, as you can see. And I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing. I'm going to put that in the same spot, but since this one is tapered, I'm going to point that tapered end right at the crease. So I'm kind of pointing it a little bit downwards so it kind of gets into that crease as well. Whereas the other color was completely above the crease. I don't know if that makes any freaking sense, but you're pretty much putting it in the same spot, just a little bit lower. So now I'm taking a MAC 217 with that same color, low blow. I'm going to get it, and this one you can see it's a little bit more flat. It's not as fluffy as the last one, so that's going to help you get right in your crease to make that color a little bit tighter. To see your crease more, you can lift your eyebrows and go right into it. So as I'm blending, I'm pulling that color outwards like this into kind of like you would a wing, the way a wing would go. To so just pull the color out like that when you have um, nothing really left on your brush. So literally I'm just going over all the colors, making sure everything looks nice and smooth. Next I'm going to take this color on the end called En Fuego on a flat shader brush. And I'm going to take that and apply it to the lid area. Work in small strokes for this and just dip in when you need until you get like a really good pigment. So now I'm going to go in with this really, really skinny crease brush and I'm going to dip into En Fuego. Is that how you say it? I'm going to dip into that, barely touching. I'm going to blend that lid color with the crease color so it's not so harsh. Next, I'm going to take an even smaller shader brush and I'm going to dip into Ashes, which is that really, really dark purple. And lightly, I am going to take that and tap it along the lash line. When I get to the outer corner, I'm just going to kind of tap that like that onto the outer corner. 
So the last couple of steps didn't record, but I just went in, I don't know if this part showed, went in with an angled brush and ashes and put it really close to my bottom lash line. And then I took this brush and I mixed low blow and heat double. Ma mainly it's heat double, a little bit of low blow just to get that red in there. And I just used it. I'll just do it again. Why the hell not? You can see when I'm blending out my bottom lash line, I'm ensuring that it kind of connects with the upper lash line. I'm going to apply the Alme One Coat Mascara. I'm going to use this MAC Matte Bronzer. It's just a really pretty matte bronzer. And I'm going to bronze his cheeks. I don't know why I don't use this more. It's really pretty. I am going to take that color into the forehead for contour like always i'm gonna use my nope wrong one I'm gonna use the kat von d shade and light palette and i go into the first two shades this is a mac dual fiber brush and a contour really lightly i'm keeping it more close to the ear i'm not really taking it down too far and then I'm going to take the lightest shade and down the nose. For blush today, I'm going to go into this MAC palette that I built. I'm going to go in with this color. This is Max Plum. I think that's going to match perfectly with the eyes, actually. Isn't that such a pretty color? For the highlight today, I'm going to go with a classic. This is Becca's Opal. I'm just going to take it and highlight. Have you seen a more beautiful highlight? This one is just, it's always the one I go to when I don't know what to do. I'm going to take that down the nose as well. Isn't that beautiful? Now to make everything look a little bit more bronzy, not that I need it, but I'm going to go into um, Max Gold Deposit. Just make sure you use a really light hand with this because a lot comes off. So I usually tap it and then tap off a lot of the excess. And then I just like to go around the face with this. It just adds a beautiful bronze glow to the skin. I'm going to take this Makeup Geek crease brush and I'm going to dip into opal, apply that in the tear duct area. Also taking a little bit of that right beneath the brow. Okay, so I went and applied Rum Punch by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is one of the new matte lipsticks that she came out with. And yeah, here is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe so I could see all of you guys in the next one. That was a lot of hand movements. Bye guys.